All right, folks. Thanks for joining me. We are back on Lake of the Pines, and let me tell you, this episode is full of these. I mean, I'm talking a ton of hook sets on the one of the best lakes in the country. And I'm going to sit back, let you see a lot of the footage without doing much narrating at all, because this is an exciting, exciting day. Please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. Ring that little bell. But sit back, relax. You're about to see an incredible day on Lake of the Pines. Thanks again. Look at that one. He choked it. <laughs> That's so good. I can't believe I got it. I worked on that so hard. <laughs> it's a toad. I worked on that one so hard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> God. That was fun. He was a single out in the creek bottom. 24 foot down. Look at all these boats. Look at all these boats now. It's crazy. What, what you don't see is down near the dam, there has to be another, there has to be 50 boats out there. I mean, that's crazy, my boats. I guess this is the real pine of the, pine of the lakes on a beautiful day. Boats everywhere. That's the big fish right there. That has got to be a big fish. That guy was 30 foot down. Yeah, good fish. He's going to be about 1.8, I guess. I was hoping for bigger, but that's a hammer. Gosh, we found the bait finally. We found the bait. This is a pig. This is a two pounder. Whipped into the boat with an elite fishing rod right there. That's a two pounder. Every bit of it. Point nine. That's a freaking hammer. What is that? 
15 and a half inches. Baby, that is a freaking hammer. <laughs> Look how fat that guy is. That's unbelievable. God. <laughs> That's a two pound black. Wow. Right there, that should be a freaking tank. This should be a tank. Man, I caught that guy just roaming around. This guy has got to be big. This is a bass. Good <laughs> Good night. Wow. I thought that was a dang crappie. That was huge. That was fun. I caught up with that guy. <coughs> Still a lot of that red stuff, man. I don't know. This guy came from 30 feet. Hammer. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. There's so many boats around right now. Feel like you can talk really loud. Well, that does it, folks. 
I'm headed back to Illinois. I am so sad to have to say that, but I love the state of Texas and I will be back. I will be back so many times. I had a fantastic morning. It was without a doubt the best bite since I've been here. And uh, check them out. I'll take a photo here, but uh, I could tell you that was phenomenal fishing. Awesome, awesome fishing. Thanks for watching. Please do me a favor. Do me a favor, subscribe. It's a fact that only 20% of the watchers are actually subscribers. And I would love to see that number get bumped up, folks. It doesn't cost you anything. And uh, that's my plea to you. If you like these type of videos, it supports me and, and what we're doing here. And so uh, subscribe, ring that bell. Thanks guys. All right, so that's the end of the Lake of the Pines videos. I figure I'd just give you a couple of thoughts I have on the lake and, and my experience. First and foremost, uh, thanks to Pine Cove Cabin. You guys have to check that out. Literally, if you guys come here, it's a small town. And uh, unless you wanna stay at a bed and breakfast, which is in Jefferson, Texas, and a beautiful town, um, if you wanna stay around the lake, the accommodations are limited. And I can tell you that Pine Cove Cabin is convenient on the water, everything you'd ever want. So boat ramp, right, literally right down the road from you. And plenty of parking for as many boats as you want. So uh, the, the biggest town nearby is Marshall. There's also, like I said, Jefferson, Texas. They have a great barbecue place in that town. It's very small, um, but very accommodating, very nice people. The lake is 17,000 acres. It's, it's fairly large. And most of these people, it looks like most crappie anglers kind of fish the timber. I mean, we had literally probably 50 plus boats in the timber where I was at. And you could look down the lake and you could see a sea of boats uh, towards the dam as well. So, you know, you get into the timber and you just gotta get comfortable because there's gonna be people all around you. Uh, it doesn't seem to, it seems to be pretty normal to be within 40 yards, 30 yards of another boat. Um, but again, there's so much timber that if you wanted to separate yourself, you could definitely do it. You know, the key to this week was definitely slow presentation. I did not catch too many where I could float a bait across its its nose and it would strike. Now, I did get some, but I would say overall, if I were to make a call on it, I would say vertical drop right on its forehead, really slow, and eventually it reacts and it, and it takes it. It wasn't like they were coming from a far distance to get the bait like I'm used to seeing. So you really had to put it on their nose and then they would come and get it. The, without a doubt, the natural color with a pink head, that was this, the answer for me today. Um, I did try some other colors out today with no success, but that seemed to be, so like anything, like a whatchamacallit, or a, a, uh, a uh, monkey milk, or anything like that with a really bright, I was using a pink head, big pink head. I mean, it was a one eighth, I think it was a one eighth ounce head. Um, so very large. So that was the secrets today. Uh, what else do I, what else can I tell you about uh, this area? People are very nice, the lakes, uh, gosh, it's a fishing lake, it's not a wreck lake. I mean, I know there's some wreck that goes on, but reality, it is a fishing lake and everybody's there primarily to crappie fish. Although I've heard that it is also a very good bass fish, bass fishing lake, because you probably saw that fish I caught in this episode. So check it out, Pine over the Lakes. Without a doubt, I'm coming back here, but I also want to experience several other lakes that I've been hearing about around here. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. I got an eight hour drive ahead of me. Have a good one. Folks, this video is sponsored by Pine Cove Cabin. You can reach them at pinecovecabin.com. Whether or not you're visiting the historical city of Jefferson or you're fishing for big slabs on Lake of the Pines, this is the place to stay. We're talking two bedrooms, two baths. It's right on the water. It just doesn't get any better. Folks, I've never been to Lake of the Pines until this week, and I can tell you, this is an incredible tip I'm giving you. It doesn't get any more convenient to the boat ramps or to the water. You are right here on the water, and you've got a great host in Glen Ferris. Check it out at pinecovecabin.com. Folks, you're going to love it.